Seven o'clock. Okay. So we'll start with the um, <coughs> pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Welcome, everybody. We're all third, the day before the fourth. So here we go. Roll call. Mark Folk? Here. Mark Frazier? Here. Francis Griffith? Here. Kelly Schmidt and Troy Carmelis Addison. Excused. Excused. Agenda. You should have your agenda before you. Any additions? Motion to accept? Second. Motion. I'll second it. Okay. Motion. Butch. Kelly. All in favor? All right. June 5th meeting minutes, all typed up. Motion to accept. Okay, Mark. Second. Butch. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public comment. We have two sessions of that. Public comment. Okay. Uh, sheriff's report. We don't have one because it's so early in the month, so we don't have a sheriff's report. So. Uh, <clears throat> Mark, CESA, um, the real big thing in CESA right now is the ongoing situation with Burns Township and the, uh, how they build their residence and the tax tribunal hearing with the campgrounds and all that stuff. And what they didn't understand was that Sessa sets the formula based on households and how many employees a business has. That's only the formula to, to say this is how much money you owe us for ambulance assessment. And so it's up to you however you want to collect it. For instance, Morris does it by millage. We do it by household assessment. I mean, yeah. you don't, we're not limiting anybody to how they collect it. This is just what it's going to cost you if you want to service. Okay. And uh, it's, I'm not sure where it's going to go. Okay. You know, they're, uh, they want from <laughs> us right now about $14,000 to share the $14,000 they paid their lawyers so far to go to the tax tribunal, which is like way over. And we don't have that kind of money. Oh, it's wow. not. That's what they wanted the, this, this to pay? They want us to pay oh. part of it. And uh, they said, well, it's because you set the thing. No, it's not. You, you misunderstand, you know. Yeah. We use that as the guide to how we calculate it. So. Did the CISA lawyer talk about it? Too? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, I mean, we're probably going to pay. We're probably going to pay part of their legal bill, but we're we're trying hard to. I mean, they they have Fahey for a lawyer, and they just keeps adding up and adding up and adding up. And they charge you know, two hundred fifty bucks an hour. Who, who does their ambulance service now? We do. Oh. We do, and. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. You know, so. Okay. Whatever. That was in Ju June seventeenth. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Mark. DDA, of course, we didn't meet, but we are meeting on the uh, Wednesday, the uh, 17th. Uh -huh. And uh, I do have consumers bid on changing the lights down Bitter Drive, so they'll be a little taller and they'll be a little brighter. So uh, they actually have two bids from consumers. And uh, they'll talk about that at the DDA. Zoning, I, we had a couple, uh, couple people put in uh, solar things on their homes uh, over in uh, Jennifer Drive, uh, photo, photo vote solar system, um, I don't know how that means, but the permit was a couple hundred dollars, and then uh, we had a hilltop trail, we had a, a 192 square foot shed, that's it, that was all we had, no inspection, as you know, the gentleman that does the inspection is in the hospital or sick or whatever, so. We also received from uh, <coughs> community development that we will no longer be getting those packets. They're going to email them to us. Good. So. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. 
So that's uh, zoning. Um, Tom is here. He just did you visit Woodhall? Uh, an empty hall. An empty hall at Woodhall. Yeah, closed up hall. Okay. Um, so that's why you're here early. You bet. Okay. Good. You want to speak? Sure. Okay. Uh, just uh, a couple of things going on at the county level. Number one is that uh, I'm chairing an opioid fund uh, uh, committee dealing with the fact that um, over the next 10 years we're going to be receiving some monies uh, from opioid settlements. And I, I have to say right away, A, the amount of money is not really great. I think this year uh, it's going to be about uh, $600,000. But uh, for the year, but uh, starting the year after this, it's going to be around uh, uh, 300000 and then for the rest of the years after that, it's about $200,000 a year. But what we did on the county level uh, uh, was set up a, uh, a committee to organize uh, how we deal with these funds. They're not insignificant, but it's not a great deal. And uh, uh, so we, we've set up uh, a committee to do that. The committee uh, involves myself as chair, uh, uh, Commissioner Garber from Bennington Township, and uh, Commissioner Webster uh, from Paris, uh, or from Owasso City and then some townships north and west. Uh, and uh, to try to come up, uh, basically the thrust of what we're doing is we're saying to uh, the two major uh, county departments that are, would be directly involved, that is the health department, which deals with opioid in use of um, um, these kinds of drugs, uh, abuse really of this, these kind of drugs, uh, and the courts. The courts get involved with people that get arrested and they are uh, uh, some t at some times are involved with drugs and it impacts their court proceedings and uh, so we're leaving it up to them to make recommendations to the commission on exactly how to use these funds. Um, and I have been in touch with uh, SESA as well. I know they were not initially included in the uh, uh, groups uh, that would make recommendations, but what we're going to what I'm going to try to do is have them work through the health department to uh, convey, and I'm told that there are times when first responders uh, come out and see that they do have people who are um, uh, afflicted with, uh, uh, through drug abuse and so on. And uh, so that's ongoing. Uh, another <coughs> board that I'm on is the, uh, what has, been called through the years the Solid Waste uh, Management Board. Um, it has not met in the two years that I've been on the commission, but we had a uh, couple of things that happened. Number one, the state law has changed to shift the emphasis from dealing with solid waste, looking at, looking at garbage and stuff as, quote, solid waste. Now it's uh, the, the thrust is changed to we look at it as recyclable materials. And um, so we are required by the state law to develop a new plan, the solid waste management plan that we've had in the past and that has been applicable for 20 some years or more uh, is will be put aside. The county has hired a consultant to help us develop a uh, recycle plan. Uh, the uh, 
department of the uh, county that's going to be most involved with this is the health department. Larry Johnson, who's the uh, director of that department, uh, is involved. We had our first meeting of the recyclables uh, board uh, two weeks ago. Um, and uh, so this is going to be a big change. One thing that will be emphasized, uh, well, it doesn't directly involve us, but Lanesburg has a uh, uh, significant recycling program. Uh, I'm sure most of you know about it. And uh, so I expect that that will be influential and explaining how to deal with these things. What kinds of materials does it make sense to recycle? Perhaps the problem with the legislation is, from the state level, is uh, that they want to impose this idea that we're going to go to recycling and not throw away so much trash, but uh, that is likely going to impose a cost on local government because we don't know to what extent uh, the materials are going to be economically recyclable. And so that's, that's going to be a, a problem that we're... Uh, Your big problem is going to be cooperation of, of the citizens that use it. Well, we ran into because we used to have a recyclable program yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And people just through trash everything in it into the recycling bins to the point where they wouldn't pay us anything and we had to pay for them to haul it away yeah. and it just went to the landfill anyway yeah. and they were piling if they got there and it was a day that it wasn't open they just pile bags of trash against the gate and, and uh, it, it became and, and you're going to have a similar problem it's got to be it, it's got to be staffed at all times to be able to keep it from being misused. And you're exactly correct, and that is where a significant cost is yep. going to come. Now, I will say this, uh, uh, Director Larry Johnson and I met with the Perry City uh, Council a week or so ago because they were considering a door-to-door -door pickup, which is more adaptable to a recycling system and uh, so we did go and explain what we know so far based on the fact that we haven't really rewritten our plan yet but very much in the forefront was the experience uh, uh, here in Perry Township with that. And well that was a cooperation between Village of Morris, Perry Township, Perry City. Yeah, yeah. We all three funded that and we stuck <coughs> some pretty good money into it and just it was like just it, misused. It would be easier disastrous. for a city to do that, right? city or a village to, to do that, rather than... Well, and under the state law, it envisions a situation that for, I think it's every 10,000 population, you got to have drop-off sites. Oh. So what we're, the way we're looking at it now is because Owasso does have off on sites and Perry City's proposal would add, uh, the thought was now we, we, we would have to have two or three drop off sites like we had here at the Morris Transfer Station that was so abused. And uh, so we're trying to reduce that. Now our population is about 70,000, but to the extent that they're in cities and they do have some pickup it reduces the number of these sites we have. But that's my point. The, the state legislature doesn't consider the practicality of right. so, and we would have to we would have to man it uh, on a, a full time basis, uh, at least the hours that it's open and as you point out, even if, if it's not open people are just gonna Yeah, it was it was unfortunate because it really it was a fairly passive way to handle the problem <clears throat> had it been taken care of properly, but people didn't care. You know, they just, instead of paying to dump the garbage in the other bins, 
they just threw it in with their recyclables and that defeated the whole purpose. So. And they didn't have anybody the watching them when they dumped it. Yeah, the personal yeah, costs are so significant. That's yep. one of like the anything. things. Yeah. Anything else? And I think I announced that I'm running again uh, last month when I was here. So I won't That's right. Go That's back right. Yeah. Uh, August is the primary, and then the election is yeah. November. 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 Okay. And uh, oh, uh, and it did come up, uh, as you may know. Uh, John Palman, the commission did appoint John um, to uh, John Palman to the uh, road commission. And so uh, what, he is on the ballot, but uh, he's uh, uh, apparently satisfied with uh, the road commission position. Okay. 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 And uh, I made you a copy of that. Uh, Jennifer Granholm, when she was attorney general. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Mark. I was going to say, too, uh, the. Um, <coughs> Uh, this county issued a notice regarding uh, the uh, violation of the zoning or, uh, zoning ordinance, the county zoning ordinance over the uh, fence uh, uh, off from uh, uh, Beard Road. Not Thorn Apple. And uh, yes, Thorn Apple, and uh, that is. Uh, so the notice of that went out. Uh, interestingly, I didn't see a date on the letter, but it, uh, uh, it, it, reading it in part, it says, please be advised that you will have until the close of business on July 10th, 2024, to comply with the ordinance. Seven days from now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I see our library, Mark. Uh, the, the major thing in this packet is there is a copy of a brochure that they are passing out from the library that explains that their millage is strictly renewal, not an increase, and what it's used for. And uh, we're trying to be real open about talking to anybody that wishes to know what the, what the uses are for it and stuff. And so... And the I-69-89 trade quarter did not meet, uh, Troy said. Uh, SEDP, Mark. SEDP. SEDP. Um, we, our biggest thing at the last meeting was we attempted a couple years ago to set up a foundation separate from SEDP, a 501c3. And this was partly on the advice from Consumers Power who said that they they felt there was more money to be given to SEDP for uses if it was to a, a charitable write-off situation, basically. Well, now Consumers has said they won't pay dues unless they're going to a 501c3. Oh. And they're pretty substantially, they're not the biggest dues payer of our organization, but they are pretty substantial. And, the thing is that for consumers, virtually every project that SEDP becomes involved in, consumers also benefits from because almost every project has to have either power or gas or both. You know, so it's it's to their advantage. So, um, so we have found another way through another 501c3 to accept the, accept that money. We pay them a percentage and then we get the rest of it. What we're trying to find out right now is whether it affects how we can use the money because if we set up our own 501c3 and they're donated through that, it, there's limitations on how you can use the money. You can't use it for all the general fund things you do normally. Maybe you can't use it for billboards for jobs or whatever, you know. So we're, we're working through that and um, so one of the issues that came up was, well, if somebody wants to pay that way to get the tax advantage, 
and it could be more than consumers. I mean, there could be other businesses that want to do it that way. Are they, should they be allowed to have a seat on the board if their money is limiting how we can use the money by virtue of how it comes to the, comes to the organization? So um, hmm. that's still kind of an ongoing, that's been a number of phone conversations this month between the executive committee and the finance committee and so forth. So. Land Bank, um, we're still looking to build a um, portfolio of projects so that when more money becomes available for blight or rebuilding or whatever, that we know there's certain projects out there and we're just, we just keep asking local communities to um, kind of be on the lookout for and Try to get the uh, the facts of the situation to Brent at SCDP, who basically handles that stuff for the land bank. And, uh, now there's there's going to be a, there's going to be a brownfield thing coming up, and I think it has to do with the racetrack. There's quite a bit of of uh, things going on with that. He's putting he's he's got plans for a hotel and all sorts of things out there. He bought that building. Across the side street, there used to be a lot of tractor parts. He bought that property and building. And, um, if you go buy it right now, you can see there's been a lot of changes. He's dumped a bunch of money in it. So. Not a concrete. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's right now he's fast becoming one of the biggest taxpayers in the county. So. Wow. Um, they've had some races, some good races out there. Yeah, I mean, you know, and there, I mean, and there's his business operations on top of all that too. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Mark. Planning Commission, you guys uh, met. I'm going to give it to Dwayne, Dwayne. but I wasn't there. Okay. We went over the, the master plan from Perry City, and then made a recommendation for the letter to send to the. Gave it to you to send to the the city, and then we vote. We worked on our zoning. Um, that's pretty much what we accomplished. Mm -hmm. Discussed the sounds, but yeah. we didn't get real involved in that. I know when we were talking about the zoning. Uh, in the meeting, we were in Beth because they were talking about maybe having the gentleman that used to uh, inspect uh, for errors and problems, uh, Dave uh, Shrinka, who now works for uh, uh, Wasser Charter Township, to invite him to come to your next meeting. Uh, oh, yeah, he probably uh, would. To discuss the, uh, the enforcement part of that. The, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. If we took it over, what would be the right the well, he, call? He talked to me when he Okay. When I went up there to get that that copy of theirs, and um, he does that enforcement arm of it, they hired Roe to do the um, the planning. Master plan. Well, the planning side of it. No, when a project comes in, they're the ones that go review over it, and review it, and, and then he becomes involved also in the review, but. Then he takes it from there as far as following up on it as it, as it moves through its process. I think that's kind of what they were talking about in there, having yeah. to explain. Right, because he said if you try to hire just one person to do all that, it isn't going to happen. Well, yeah. that just increased the cost more. You know? right. Mm -hmm. right. So I actually have his cell phone and I give it to Beth. Okay, yeah, he'll, I'm sure he would if he's not got a conflict. He sure, that. okay, mm -hmm. so that was the other thing. Who does Corona's? or Condolian's townships enforcing or whoever. I don't know. I don't know. Never, I've never heard. I do know, uh, I, I do know your fellow in Perry City used to work at the city of Flint. I mean, do it for the city of Flint. Yeah. So I, I know yeah. him. Bob Keel. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. But other than that, I don't. <coughs> yeah. And then later we'll talk about that, uh, the letter that you prepared uh, to send to the city Perry about some errors in the master plan that was done in the engineering firm in Grand Rapids. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. 
Okay, Mark, anything else? No. Or anything else going on? No. Okay. <coughs> Financial report and pay the bills. All right, you've got your bills list in front. Um, the road commission, we paid for some gravel, about $21,000 there, uh, from Lovejoy Road to M52. Um, our insurance, uh, liability insurance bill came due, it's about $8,000. Oh, the retention ponds, when Bennett Drive was developed, um, the retention pond area was supposed to be turned over to the township and it didn't happen. So it had been into, in Alexander's name, and of course he's passed away Some and his company's name. gone. Yeah. So anyway, it went to, um, it went up for auction. <laughs> <laughs> so the township bought it just to get it in our name. And then that was the $790 there. Well, that's a done deal. Yep, that's done. Even though we've been mowing it for years. <laughs> the deeds are on their way. Okay. Uh, revenue sharing was about almost $53,000. That's it. There's the bills. Any questions on the bills? No. Don't pay the bills. Pay the bills, Mark says. Mark says right. pay the bills. Butch says second. All on roll call vote, Kelly. Mark Folks? Yes. Mark Frazier? Yes. Francis Griffith? Yes. Kelly Schmidt? Yes. Any correspondence? Mm -hmm. Any correspondence? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, public comments, announcements. Our next meeting is not going to be August. It's going to be July 31st. 31st uh, because seven. of the election. Because the next up, coming up is the election already. So we'll be having our meeting here on July 31st. Just so you know. And Butch, I'll let you know about that. Okay. Unfinished business, I believe. Mm -hmm. We're doing good, aren't we, guys? We're rolling right along here. A review of a mowing contract, Kelly. So, uh, Rescue Me Through Lawn Care um, presented a three year mowing contract. It basically extends two years out at the same rate that we're paying now, and then it increases on, in 2027, if you see on the back. It goes from $60 to $65 per service, and then goes from $575 for the cemetery to $600. And that's in the year 2027. Right. Uh, by locking it in, I mean, we're happy with this service, and uh, he mowed today, and uh, so I uh, said, well, put it, put it in letter form, and we'll certainly review it. So I make a motion to accept the three-year uh, contract. Kelly's going to make a motion to accept his proposal. You're still reading it? Mm -hmm. Okay. He has four or five cemeteries and, and the township said he's locked in this, and so we're not the only ones. They want to buy another piece of equipment. So he but he doesn't want to be paid ahead of time, does he? No. 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 All right. I'll second it. Uh, Butch will second that motion. Yeah. Roll call vote, Kelly. Kelly Schmidt, yes. Mark Fultz? Yes. Mark Frazier? Yes. Uh, Francis Griffin? Yes. Okay. Plant map purchase. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so, um, Mapping Solutions has developed um, new plant maps for the township. Um, so they quoted three standard plat mats. They're the ones, the big ones that are hanging in there. Uh, the total amount is $517. Mm -hmm. so they're, 30, three, they're three foot by three foot. Three. Mm -hmm. It's been, those are quite old, I think. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'll make a motion. We Mark wants to make a motion. Purchase those, purchase those three, three of them, right? Second. Three. Mm -hmm. Second bush. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mark Fultz? Yes. Mark Frazier? Yes. Francis Griffith? Yes. Yes. All right. Board review dates uh, July 16th at 9. That is uh, when we entertain uh, corrections, uh, clerical errors. Uh, we've got a couple people that uh, should have been given their uh, uh, military uh, what do you call that? Uh, exemption. Exemption for the taxes. Two, two people. Two. And so, about five things right now to go through. 
So that's July 16th at 9 a.m. here at Perry Township Hall. And that is just for to correct mistakes and errors uh, on the assessment rolls. There are no public hearings on that date. Okay. So I'll make a motion to accept that. Okay. Okay. Second. Which will second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I know Mark missed that meeting, but um, there was a letter created for the master plan, which uh, detailed some errors in the city of Perry master plan, and uh, it was actually prepared for the head of the committee, and it listed some areas that were supposed to be in Perry Township that used to be in the city of Perry, but it isn't in the city of Perry anymore. It's in Perry Township, so it needs to be corrected. And so those issues came up, and they were uh, noted, and uh, the map, uh, a couple changes to the map. Anything else, Kelly? No. That's mainly it. Anything else, Dwight? No, there's some properties that are in there that aren't, aren't theirs. And no, exactly. So we want to make sure when they do their master plan, it's correct. So uh, uh, the letter's been prepared, and uh, uh, Kelly has it ready to go out if we approve it. Did you have a chance to read it, uh, Mark? Yeah. Okay. What should we be reading it now? I'm all done. Okay. okay. I'll make a motion to um, ap approve the uh, recommendations that the um, Planning Commission um, submitted to the board uh, on the City of Perry's upcoming master plan changes or updates. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. And uh, no. all in favor? Aye. 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 And then we'll ask Wayne to sign it for the, uh, for the record. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Check. Okay. Okay. And then we talked about the parking lot. Uh, remember the water used to run into the building. Finally, it's, now it's running away from the building like it should. And uh, wanted to seal it this year, and so we've got three uh, companies. Uh, McCurdy actually may have done the work at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then we had another company, uh, uh, Travis Smith, uh, and then uh, another company, Easy Asphalt. All three of them come yesterday, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, it was kind of nice, we just, it quickly happened, <laughs> and we got the bids back in. So, uh, so we have a bid for Easy Asphalt for, Four thousand nine hundred and sixty-five to apply two coats um, to the parking lot and then three stripe. Um, we received from McCurdy. Theirs was five thousand five hundred ninety-one. That was for two coats also. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Sorry. 5,595, and then Smith paving was 6,644. And then it, it does say that it was going to be uh, one one brush, but it's thicker. You say it was yep, thicker? Yeah, it's thicker. Um, it'll last a little longer than being sprayed on. Okay. Um, it penetrates the asphalt better than spraying it on. Okay. It's really fine bristles on a broom, a 36-inch okay. broom, so it will. That's a great difference on Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. You'll get about another year out of it. Okay. So. We do have three bids. Is there any comments? The good thing there wasn't much cracks to seal because it was yeah. it's, it's, been, it's held up pretty nice. Yeah. You know, so. What is your difference between the two that you're going to do? Uh, they're spraying it on. I'm going to broom it on. And it actually works it into the asphalt better uh, in the top layer of the asphalt. And kind of picture like a bunch of mountains. And the fine bristles on the broom will actually work it down in the little crevices of the asphalt. And it just bonds to the asphalt better and just 
more durable, stuff like that. What's the name of the sealer? Uh, pitch black, pitch black sealer. It's a nine. Um, it's an airport grade sealer, okay. non-cancerous. It's a water based. Yep, water based sealer. Yep. each of the companies, uh, uh, and uh, I, I didn't have any questions, any problems with any, any of the three companies. So. Where are the other two from? Uh, um, McCurney is from Lansing, uh, and that's who does quite a bit of work in that area, I guess, too. And then uh, Easy Ask, is his name Ernie? Mm -hmm. Ernie oh, wow. is uh, from Wausau, and he does Somewhere, you know, one, you probably know him. Yeah, you know, he's a pretty good guy. I like yeah, he seems like a taller guy. Yeah, so uh, anyway. I like to know a little his bit help, more on his the help, planner. His help was all, his, his help, I'll go get him. I got her, I got her shirt. Sure. Well, what I'm saying is, okay. this is cable for a doing a little bit more investigating on the difference and everything. If we can, if we can stay local. There is a difference in the price of so much, though. So. Can you, I think I'd be doing a fair thing to. can you supply some documentation on the cedar you're using? What's that? <clears throat> Within the next couple of weeks, can you supply something on the information on the cedar you're using? Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Do that and I'll yep. have the, I actually have a, a brochure on this first guy. Are they using coal tar? Does, does it? I don't know. It's just a little brochure. Yeah. If I show it to you, you probably know. I don't, I don't know what you're asking. I think it's a Yeah, a little bit longer than that. First of October. Depending on the weather. 
If I do it in August, it'd have to be in the early morning or later in the evening sure. when it's cool out. Sure. And probably give it about 12 to 24 hours before you drive on it. So. All right. So that's the other thing we only have to work through our home rental stuff. All right. Do <laughs> half one home. day and then do yeah. the other half the next yeah. day. Well, the problem is going to actually be uh, one of the things you won't be able to do is do it before the election in August because people are going to drive in here to oh. get to the drop oh, wow. we're, we're pretty flexible whenever so we have to we have to watch those schedules okay. Kelly knows all those right. days yeah right okay. that's okay we'll, we'll we'll just delay it uh, until uh, so you want to table this yeah we'll table this until next week does that sound good and we'll gather yep. a few more bits of information okay. Okay. you'll be make a copy which for you okay okay all right okay sound like a plan Thank you for coming too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, any more items? Yep. Any more items? For Butch? All right. What time is it? I'm, I got a comment. Yes. Um, we got a permit to do some adjusting on the road, and uh, I think it's the Rose Industrial yes. Park out there. Yes. I believe the permit's in place. We're going to get rid of that island. We're yes. going to. We're in, hoping to do some development on the back side of it, and that island don't work for us. And then uh, the American Metal sales there in the same boat. Um, yeah. No cost to the township at all. We're gonna That's what I heard. we're gonna Thank cover you. everything on it. Yeah. And um, the chip seal, we're even gonna cover the chip seal on it too. Okay. So okay. We're gonna be out there. I I hope next week get Great. it done. So yeah. Chris and I talked about that last week, and uh, uh, yeah, happy. I know the permit was issued and, and everything. So uh, and the company's very happy too. By the way. So, I'm sorry, what? The company's very happy. Oh, yeah. The company's very happy. Uh, yeah. Because they want to be able to exit and go out that way, come in off of uh, Old, uh, you know, uh, Lansing Road. Old Lansing Road. Road and right. off, uh, off yeah, it'll make it a lot easier. It's kind of Jim that has the uh, business with the tractors across the way. He's yeah. On, he's on our DDA board. Oh, he's really? He's the chairman. His name is Robert Pirro. Uh huh. And he's an engineer by trade. And uh, he was a little upset because that sign in the middle, but he can put his sign somewhere. Hopefully. I think he worked out something with the people that got the metal sales place. Well, he wanted to get some trees taken down and, and if that, okay. So yeah. that's all working out. Okay. So thank you, Travis. All right. We'll get her straightened up for you. They're having a, they're having a, uh, August 18th is they're going to have a, a Friday. I think it's August 18th. They're having a photo thing on some of, get some of the businesses to come and they have a grand opening. Oh, nice. So, Didn't they get a car wreck? What? Didn't he get in a car wreck? That fellow has a coyote dealer. Okay. Or am I thinking of Sip Out Hero? Oh, that's oh I'm thinking of somebody yeah. else. Oh, no. oh okay. no, he's fine. Yeah, no, he's fine. That's fine. Right. Short guy. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I have mistaken for that. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Any more comments? Okay. We just need to adjourn. Motion to Mark, get out second. of here. Second. Um, Aye. All in favor. Mark. Aye. What time is it? July 22nd to the 27th. July? <clears throat> is the river clean up? July and they'll be collecting tires at the road commission on the 27th from 8 to 12. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Enjoy your Fourth of July. Okay. Yeah. I just see Brian.